toute euh, sa bonne volonté à vouloir venir dans des partenariats, mais j'ai tout de suite compris par son attitude que c'était du politiquement correct. Il n'en croyait pas un mot. Non pas parce que lui est menteur, non, loin de là. Parce que nous ne sommes pas sérieux, et eux le savent. Le jour où nous mettrons fin à ce à quoi nous assistons aujourd'hui, à l'est de la République démocratique du Congo, par exemple, des voisins qui viennent semer la pagaille, la mort, la désolation, uniquement dans le but de s'enrichir, de piller les ressources. Le jour, le jour où nous mettrons fin à ce genre de comportement, alors oui, là nous aurons compris. Parce que je suis désolé, en tant que président de la République démocratique du Congo et face à ce genre de choses, je ne suis pas tenté de construire des ponts, mais plutôt des murs pour sécuriser ma population. Welcome back to another video. Don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the bell icon to receive notifications every time we upload new videos. President of the Democratic Republic of Congo, President Felix Tshisekedi, today on national television, he said that he will not accept anything from Paul Kagame. He said that he will build walls, not bridges. President Felix Shekedi, who is currently the president of the Democratic Republic of Congo and also a presidential candidate in December presidential elections, President Felix Shekedi has showed his anger. He is very angry with what is happening in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Fighting has continued between the rebels M23 and different militias known as Wazalendo. FDRL, Mai Mai, Nyatula, mercenaries from Wagner, and different rebels who decided to join hands with the FODC soldiers to fight against the M23. Veteran people have been displaced, young children displaced, separated from their parents, husbands, wives, people, old women, old men, they are all running away for their lives, looking for survival. We saw videos of young children sleeping in tents that are in slums whereby they sleep in water that is the only place where they can find peace away from the fighting that is currently happening in the democratic republic of congo president ifele shekedi has expressed his concern about the eastern democratic republic of congo and he has said that he will never accept to understand paul kagame he will never accept peace talks with Paul Kagame or negotiate with the M23 rebels. M23 rebels resumed fighting in the Democratic Republic of Congo in the year of 2021. After years of silence, they resumed fighting in 2021 and the only thing they, they, want, they want from President, Paul, uh, President Felix Shekedi is negotiations. They have what they want and they want to negotiate with the President Felix Shekedi, something he refused and he said that he will never, not even one day, accept to negotiate with the rebels. He asked them to surrender their guns and accept to face law, and but the rebels refused. They said they will continue fighting for their people, for the Tutsi people in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The FDR rebels in the Democratic Republic of Congo who fight the Rwandan government, Paul Kagame's government, are also there and we saw them promising to fight the M23 and also destroy the Tutsi people in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Very many people being displaced has created concern in the whole world whereby very many people who are displaced in the Democratic Republic of Congo, a large number of Congolese run to Uganda. Wazalendo group is using heavy weapons, weapons that could harm the nature in the Democratic Republic of Congo, weapons that may destroy the environment, weapons that may cause harm to soil, may cause harm to people in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.